Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss some of the memory recalled questions of June 2000 exam of accounting and finance paper in JIB. Let us start with the questions. First question, 10% 3 years bond with face value rupees 10,000 are purchased by SBI for rupees 9500 each. What is current yield of this bond? And these are the options given to us. 9.5%, 10%, 10.26% 10 and 10.53%. To find the answer, we have to make the actual calculation. So here we go for the calculation. We have to calculate current yield and current yield is calculated as coupon amount divided by investment that is the purchase price in 200. As we see the face value of the bond is rupees 10,000 at 10% the coupon amount is rupees 1,000. Investment that is purchase price is 9,500 9, multiplied by 100 so we get 10.53 as the current yield on this bond. Let us see question number 2. Maturity value of fixed deposit in Punjab National Bank is rupees 21,620 at 7% rate of interest for 3 years. What is the principal amount? From the question we can understand that future value or maturity value is given which is this much. Rate of interest is also given. Period is also given. Now what is the principal amount? To find out principal amount we have to find out the present value of this. We are given future value and we have to find present value. And these are the answers before us. 17,000 Option B 17,648 Option C 17,850 Option D 17,999 Now to convert future value into present value this is the formula which we use. Present value is equal to future value divided by 1 plus R raised to power N. This is the future value. This is rate of interest plus 1 this is raised to power 3 and this is what we get 17,648 this means option B is the correct answer. Let us now go to question number 3. XYZ Limited has 31% shareholding with financial institutions, 35% with the central government, 23% with the state governments and remaining 11% with the small shareholders. So XYZ Limited is a company whose shareholding pattern has been advised to us. Now what we have to answer? It is a private company because 11% shares are with private persons. Means with the small shareholders. Option B. It is a private company because 42% shares are held by private persons or entities. Here 31% with this is financial institution, 11% with small shareholders, hence 42%. Option C. It is a government company because 51% shares are with government, 35% with central government, 23% with state government. Option D. It is a semi-government company because only 35% shares are with central government. So here central government is holding 35% and state government is holding 23%. Now what is the correct answer? Friends, any company whose share holding at least 51% is held by government, whether it is by central government or by state government, that is called a government company. In this case, 58% shareholding is held by central government plus state government. Hence, it is a government company. Question number 4. 
A firm has created sinking fund to replace its machinery after five years. The interest earned on the investment made out of sinking fund is. So what is the question? A firm has been creating or has created a sinking fund. The time period is five years. The money of sinking fund has been investment invested in certain securities and interest earned on those investments is to be placed where? Option A. It is to be shown in profit loss account as part of operational income. Option B. It is shown in balance sheet as part of the assets. Option C. Shown in the balance sheet as part of liabilities. Option D. Not required to be shown anywhere as money will be available on maturity. Friends, whatever interest income is earned, that becomes part of the sinking fund. And sinking fund is shown as an asset in the balance sheet of a company. Hence here, it is shown as balance sheet as asset. Let us go to question number 5. Debt equity ratio calculated as part of ratio analysis indicates what? Debt equity ratio shows what? So debt equity ratio shows, let us see the options. Option A, liquidity position of the firm. Option B, profitability performance of the firm. Option C, strength of the firm to attract long term borrowed funds. Option D, repayment capacity of the loans. Friends, liquidity position is reflected by current ratio. Hence, this cannot be the answer. Profitability performance of the firm is reflected by net profit or gross profit ratio or return on equity or return on investment ratio. Repayment of repayment capacity of the loans. It is reflected by debt service coverage ratio. But here our question led to debt equity ratio. Debt equity ratio reflects strength of a firm, capability of a firm to attract long term borrowed funds. So here our answer is answer C. Well friends, thank you for watching this video. In case you find the contents of the video useful to you, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.